Man House, your boy Shark360 from ManHouse.com and here we go with some gameplay of the Super Custom Offense uh, X, so Extreme Super Custom and this is beyond Super Custom, this is a really nice offense and this guy is JDP271 and his record is actually like uh, 54 and 4 losses or something so uh, we ended up winning this game but it wasn't an easy game, it was a 47 and 4 and his streak uh, is one loss and I'm in a 5 game winning streak so I'm ranking up there and I'll probably be in the top 100 pretty soon again. So it's not that difficult to get up there and it's not a big, uh, I'm not gonna do a big parade or anything, a celebration, but uh, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys exactly what I'm doing here on defense, on offense. So uh, the defensive part will be on the perfect defensive series uh, pretty soon on the next video. So make sure you guys stay tuned for that and make sure you guys follow the series. As well, I'm gonna be doing some giveaways, man. Uh, whoever uh, comments on the video, I'm gonna go ahead and select a couple of you guys to download the super custom x so make sure you let me know you want the super custom x uh here and i'm gonna select one of you guys uh there's a comment section uh to download uh those super custom and use them exactly like i'm using them here in this game now i'm coming out right here this is the iphone pro and i'm gonna go ahead and come out in the play action in around this is which is uh, one of the glitchiest plays in the game it's not glitchy it's just the way you make your reads and the way you can roll out with a quarterback it makes it seem like it's glitchy but if you do it correctly you could definitely uh, abuse it and I could abuse it out of strong clothes I could abuse it out of a uh, bunch of base you could abuse it out of a lot of formations but you gotta mix it up and in this case it's not working against my opponent he has it pretty much locked down and uh, you know it's not going on too good for me so we're doing we did a turnover and now we get the ball one more time and uh, it's 30 11 as you guys can see here again come on play action in and around it's not working good for me so um, throwing it way off, uh, Russell Wilson is throwing it way off, probably the timing is not right. So I'm uh, definitely going to come out in a different scheme now. That's why we got the Super Custom X so we can make things happen with this playbook. So uh, then the person who comments, like I said, I haven't posted this on Man All-Stars yet. So uh, this is just exclusive stuff that I'm showing you guys on how everything's connected on the Super Custom and how I run and make my reads against pretty good players online. Uh, some of these might be recognizable, like this is an Eagles, uh, I think this is an ace offset out of the Eagles playbook, so this is kind of a really glitchy slip screen right here, and he got me, man. Nothing's working for me, like I said, 7-0, uh, he's probably going to score on the next drive, so, um, no, I actually created a turnover, so let's go ahead and push the ball out. Again, I'm coming out in I-Formation Pro, and I love this scheme, but when I overuse it, like I told you guys, it's, uh, definitely it's, it's really easy to stop. So uh, I'm, not, I'm, doing not a, I'm not doing a good job of mixing it up. So you guys can see here, he's about to run it in and punch it in for another touchdown. So that's two turnovers out of my offense. But like I told you guys, the good thing is that we got a whole bunch of different formations. So now we got the bunch tight end. We're going to go ahead and come out and bunch tight end scheme and, you know, mix it up with a trip tight end, mix it up with a tight uh, tight offset and all the other different uh, trips tight end, all those other different uh, formations that we got here in this playbook. So let's go. We got the counter and the audibles. And uh, you guys can see here, I read it pretty good, and uh, he stops me there. I only get a couple of yards. So coming on in strong power, uh, switch it up to vertical. We got some tall Wilson at the tight end position, going deep. And guess what? We're going to go ahead and throw it right here to Lynch coming across the field. And a little delayed blue route, and we get pretty much almost a first down, third and two. got got to punch it in this time. So we got the option of on our playbook to come out in the inside zone or the zero one trap. I think this is a trio offset weak or the trio weak or a trio offset. So we get the nice first down there. It's a really good combination right here of formations that we got this time we come out and trips tight end. So this is totally different. The first two times I tried out the play action in the round, it was not working. So let's go ahead and go with my another scheme, which is a trip tight end. And this is why I like to uh to actually fade the the tight end in between uh, when we're trying to throw in traffic because he will definitely give me give me some good catches there so this is the play i posted today uh which was actually the 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 bunch tight end play action fork and i actually posted it the way the problem solved the person post uh, likes to set it up and i actually did it my way which is right here in this video i was actually before that video so you know, I run exactly the things that I tell you guys how to run. So I don't make things up and just put them up there. So I actually do run the stuff there. Coming out in strong clothes. Now I gotta be a little bit, a little bit careful because last time he did pick me off. But guess what? I'm gonna come out in uh, real quick. Uh, this is gonna be a fullback dive and we're gonna go ahead and punch it in for a touchdown. Making the score 14 
to seven. So we're doing pretty good right now. And I went for two. I didn't get it. 14-6 is the score. But our defense picks up and makes up right here for uh, the mistake uh, that I did. So now it's time for us to start uh, mixing it up. And this time we come out in a counter. And we're going to go ahead and try uh, to run to the outside. Notice that I have Wilson as my outside wide receiver. As soon as I shift to vertical, I come out in strong power. But as soon as I shift to verticals, he moves up to the middle wide receiver. And that actually gives me a good advantage to rocket catch over the top against safeties who are shorter than him. So that's a quick tip that you guys may want to add into your offense if you're running this type of offense or any type of bunch as well. So trips offset coming out of the inside zone. I like the inside zone because it's really nice play. It gives a lot of freedom for the running back to run. And uh, you can move from the left to right and run it to the outside or run it back to the inside. Whatever you want to do, you have a lot of freedom with the running back. Again, coming out in another inside zone. And I'm going to tell you guys something, guys. The inside zone are definitely going to be the best runs in the game right now. Uh, because uh, all the pulling guards and all the pulling uh, offense alignment right now are being glitched out of the game. So you do run strong power and somebody has one of those run stoppers that you can't run the ball against. It's because they're actually using, um, you know, the L2 feature and uh, the contains and all that stuff, the setup that does not allow the offense alignment to pull out. So I'm going to give you guys a tip, man. Try to use a lot more inside zone. Try to use more direct running plays like a stretch. Uh, try to use more like uh, off tackles. Um, maybe not off tackles, but maybe like fullback dives inside zones. Stick to fullback dives inside zones and maybe some... Uh, some um, HB powers like the Saints power so it's kind of like a just a straight up run so you want to mix it up between those and that's why you're going to be able to enhance the run a lot better so uh, just uh, take a quick note guys on what type of runs you need to use for your offense man because uh, what I've seen lately man people are freezing the linemen when they're trying to pull and nothing's going to work when you're trying to pull your uh, your guards to block on the outside on counters or, or strong power etc so here we go we're gonna go ahead and throw it deep once again we got wilson and this time we get the nice catch one-handed catch 21 to 9 in this game and we're trying to get the score in there we go we got Baldwin coming across the field get a nice uh little first down second and goal right here we're gonna go ahead and punch it in inside zone we got it so it's a touchdown and now we're getting closer for uh you know to you know to probably tie up this game I gotta actually go for two points I actually went for two I got it and here we go we're gonna go ahead and come out again another inside zone inside zone I'm telling you guys probably one of the best runs nowadays uh, with all the bullshit that's going on right now in Madden so uh, here we go we're gonna go ahead and roll out and there we go we got Matthews coming across the field easy touchdown and we take it all the way so we still got a lot of time to lock this guy up and get the ball back on offense and just finish up this game so I'm doing pretty good right now Again, we got the ball right here with three minutes left inside zone. He's winning 31 to 24. So I got to just uh, keep it going here, man. I got to make my perfect reads. You guys can see here, you can't stop the inside zone, man. Uh, even sometimes when you got the run stopper set up, inside zone is pretty tough to, to stop. You will get your three to four yards consistently uh, if you mix it up with other different runs, etc. man. So here we go, running with Lynch, and we get another first down. We got one second left. You guys can see here, I'm coming more direct. Uh, picking more uh, like a cowboy power uh, where the linemen don't pull and uh, fullback dive. Fullback dive got me there like five yards. Man. So that's, if you could get five to four yards consistently, you're good to go on, uh, on, on running the ball. And there we go, inside zone. And we just take it all the way to the house right after that fullback dive. So we're doing pretty good now. Now we got to cap, we got to execute on defense, but right here, as you guys can see, uh, we did our job on offense and we're moving the ball pretty good. It's first and goal. Real quick fullback dive, and we push it in, and we get a touchdown. And uh, I, are we are we going for two here? No, I think this is pretty much it. So we tied up the game, and we're just gonna go ahead and sit down on it. And basically, we could beat the, this guy with a touchdown, but he decides to uh, go ahead and commit right there. And we got him right here, guys. So we get this W, guys. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed this uh, section. Don't forget that I'm going to go ahead and give away a free Super Custom X. It has not been seen before. It's exclusive. And uh, to help you guys out here in this game, only I'm going to go ahead and give to one of you guys in the comment section. I'm going to select one of you guys and let you guys know who the winner is on my next video. Thank you, guys. Your boy, Shaka Tweezy from Manos.com. 
Bye. Don't forget to subscribe down here below for more tips, more strategies, more schemes, more gameplays, more tournaments, and more giveaway prizes. Later, it's your boy Shark360. Hit that like button. Don't forget, comment, and subscribe.